Hello guys, and welcome to Escape Eternity. This was made by the guy who made, uh, let's see, what were the games? Uh, they were really good. Anyway, they use this kind of style, um, Killer Escape, Killer Escape, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, he should be making a new one soon, so whenever that comes out, I'll play it. For now, he turned out, he made Escape Eternity. Sorry I have not recorded in quite a while. I have been very busy, very busy with school and not pronouncing things, so, well, let's get started with this shit. <laughs> oh, it's got a mic. You wake in a crypt. Look closer at the big door. Oh, my mouse is showing up. Don't like that so far. It's a button wood. There is no obvious way to open the door. Well, it's obviously gonna suck. There's a button here, but does nothing. Well, I haven't pushed it yet, you dick. Let's see. Uh, okay, nothing here. Ooh, I like the I like the camera angles and stuff right now. That's nice. He he, he t um he said in the, his on his website that he's using a different program now. I don't understand the programs at all. So this means actually jack sit jack shit to me. But first, so the so far it has a nice look. Like it looks a whole lot like what was that game that came out? Um, the Room, the Room. It was a puzzle game that came out. Um, I think it's for the. It, you can get it on Steam, but uh, uh, the main way to play it is on like say a tablet because. That is that's how I played it at least. I played uh, uh, the room one and two. Okay, I better start focusing on this game. Let's see. Dial with phases of the moon marked out. Oh good. I hope I don't have to know my phases of the moon. What is this? Large love. Possibly connected to the dial. Invitigus Menejo. Meno. I'm sorry, I'm learning Spanish. Uh I won't rec I'm I won't be recording as much as I used to do because I am one a very lazy person and also I tried recording a game earlier, like, you know, I was like, I tried to fit it, like, okay, I've done school this much, and I think I can record. I tried recording, did not work that well. It, um, it was very, like, let me give you a taste of what it was like. Okay, here we go. Let's see. That's cool. We'll be convicted. What the fuck does that mean? That was basically the whole thing. And, it was fucking terrible. It was not fun at all. Uh, cool. Let's see what else is here. Sand on the floor. Mm, that seems like something. Give me the thing. Uh, look closer at this guidestone. I want. I want to look closer at the guidestone. Okay. Um. Let me try to figure this out. Look closer at the guts. Oh, I had to click on that. My apologies. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Caves don't. Good. Ooh, what's this? Uh, extremely cold. Click to open inventory. Uh, a heavy... Let's see, what was it? I wonder what... Hold it. The number to the right is half of the left. The number to the left is three times the right. The number to the right is the same as the left. I'm just gonna wait until I get all the notes. There's no point in trying to figure it out from there. Yeah, but so far I like the changes that are made. I really hope he starts using the same engines and stuff for um, his uh, his other series. But he's very good looking right now. Let's see. Man, I am doing a really shit job right now. I need to get in the brain focus a little better. For... Okay, turn this thing over. Ooh, we're getting secrets up in this bitch. A weird, almost spherical object. Let's see. Another dead body. I wonder who they were in life. Well, I don't know. But they seem like they'd be assholes. Don't know why. Just kind of hmm, general thought. Nah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to judge him. He looks kind of like a dick. My apologies. Let's see. Maybe there's something here. We have to look at this direction. So I'm on the floor. Maybe if I look at the guide stone and then... Ah, there we go. Uh, well preserved cork, perhaps one of my worship... One... What? Perhaps one of my worshippers. What, what? Where did you come to that conclusion? How, where, and when did you come to that conclusion? Worshipper? What? Say what, when, where? It's dark and slimy. Guidance. Can I push this one over? Oh. Okay. Huh. 
Uh, sorry about that. Looked like some very expensive pottery there. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I have it set that you guys will see it, but I can definitely see my house right now. Hmm, I'm going to go and sh uh, destroy all the vases. Because that's how I roll. I destroy people across the way from my own thing. Because I'm an asshole. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Nope. So what do I got here? Nothing appears to be out of shape here. Yes, the floor. The box is locked. Okay, I don't have the key. Click to open inventory. I have a mystical... I have two mystical spheres. Spheres. Uh, a capstone. Number one scratched from it. Number two scratched from it. Old note number one. Okay, let me read through this. Let's see if I can do this without messing up. You must read this note, and if you are still confused, then find the others, and they will help you to escape this eternity of sleep. You are an entity from before mankind. Walk the earth. I sound like a bad childhood play. You can kill a man with a look. Flatten a fortress with a wave of your hand. Spread disease and famine wherever you walk. But your powers will be low until you once again feel the sunlight burning upon your skin, recharging your mystical powers. Mm, yes. That's what, I like this. I like this. I like where this is going. You are eternal, and it is said you are spawn of the dark ones. The ones from the deep ruled by he who shall not be named. Oh, he who shall not be named. Who, he whose name shall not be mentioned. My apologies. I was thinking Voldemort. He who sleeps under the sea. Mankind locked you within this tomb, but I, your royal servant and worshipper, provide that means to escape this place from within. Provided the means to escape this place from within. You shall once again walk the earth and world, dominating mankind and forcing them to yield to you. I have hidden six powerful spheres within your treasures that possess the power to lift the door and allow you to escape. I had to hide the means to escape from the construction of your tomb, else they may have discovered my intention to set you free to walk once and once more. So apparently I am an all-powerful god. I like this. Give me more. Lavish more loving stuff and shit behind me. I'm guessing that's my tomb. Large locked cop. But didn't I just come from there? Or did they just forget to put me in there and they're like, yeah, fuck it, that thing's heavy, let's not open it. Okay, let's see. Wait, wait, I got an idea. Uh, number one marker. Got it! Yay, I'm getting progress! Okay, what? Oh. Ah, okay. This is where I need this. Uh, the number to the right is half the left. Okay. Wait, what was the... Uh... One, four, two... I've been doing algebra this year, so... I should know this shit. The left is three times the right, so... This is really easy, man. Three? Okay. And the last one... Two, the number to the right is the same as the left. So the bottom left. Two and two. Starting me off easy here. I like that. Whoa. What was that? Look inside the coffin. Another note. Fear and a key. A big smelly coffin. Well, duh. This guy's been rotten in there. For some reason, he looks like all the other ones. Same like foot curve and everything. Was that like a style back then? I don't know. It seems like some of these idiots would do. Man, I am really looking forward to seeing something like this and the um, uh, the Killer Escape games. That'll be pretty awesome. Ooh, another note for me to mess with reading. There are three dials in the wall. <coughs> I already, already messed it up. Only you can turn them and align them correctly. The outer dial will be correct when the three dark stars are at its peak. Only then, within the realm of the stars, be able to provide the power to assist you in your escape. The middle dial will be aligned when the moon's light has been extinguished. Only then will the lunar power be granted to you in your current situation. The inner dial must be set with the pyramid symbol 
at the top to align the universal powers with the earthly realm and redirect its power toward this place. After running all three dials, you must pull the level to release another of the sacred spheres that will help you in your quest to escape this. So this is a puzzle, and I'm shit at puzzles, so let's give, give me enough time to do this. The outer dial will be correct when the three dark stars are at its peak. Three dark stars. Let's take a look at this shit. Go over here. Okay, three. Okay, three dark stars. These are pretty easy puzzles. I kind of like it. Makes me feel clever, but doesn't actually have involve any brain power. Good job. You know how to pander to idiots like me. The middle dial will be aligned when the moon's light has been extinguished. The moon's light has been extinguished. Nope. Yes. And this one will be when the dildo of light is aimed upward, I mean. The inner dial must be set with the pyramid symbol at the top to align the universal powers with the earthly realm and redirect its power toward this place. Okay. So... I ain't seeing no pyramid. Is this the pyramid? Pull lever. Yay! Give me the thing. Dang, dang, dang. Seems like it'd be a very short game so far, but I'm pretty sure this was kind of like a test. Like, uh, he was just figuring out how to use this, which, is, this is a very nice looking game so far. I got quick plots. Everybody join me with the plots. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Inventory. Key. Shit. This. Ooh, another note for me to read. Ooh. Uh, wait, that's not it. This is it. Hold on, give me a moment. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. Before they imprisoned you in eternal darkness, you told me that your powers would recharge when you once again stood beneath the burning sun. You already told me this, and your memories would come flooding back. Until that time, you must simply endure and escape. This guy has a lot of escape themes in his game. It works. My suggestion as a humble worshipper of the old ones is that you escape from here and spend a little time under the sun. Blend in with the humans, live as they live, walk amongst them, expand your knowledge, fuck their women, I'm sorry, and recharge your mystical forces. Then, when the time is right, you can simply display your, display your raw power, destroy thousands of them, and take charge of them, and slay their men, fuck their women, or fuck their men, and kill their women, whatever way you roll, take charge of them, and take your place as the rightful leader of Earth and all its people. This feels a little entitled, doesn't it? What if I want to be like a really nice god and just give people cookies all the time? I mean, I could not be an asshole. Dick. I was supposing things about me because I'm all some sort of deity. All this deity. Okay, I'm gonna stop with this dumb joke. What they do to you and your wife was unforgettable. Oh, I was already married. Never mind. Never mind. It was unforgettable. And the whole of mankind must pay with the subservience. I'm sorry today that your wife does not endure eternal as you. Do I was not able. What? As you do, and I was not able. <sighs> Karma, I was not able to save her from the fate that befell her. Your internal future will unfortunately be very lonely without your wife. By your side, yet I am sure it will be glorious and eventful to say the least, but you will not be getting any. I'm sorry, sir, she has gone. Please do not find the dead body. That will be extremely fucked up. Okay, I still got some notes laying around this place, so let's see what else did I miss. I don't see any. Oh, no. I missed this. My bad. Uh, I think it was this one. Power spheres. I do not know which work is. Uh, let's see. Is this over this one? Okay, no. Hold on. <laughs> you must find all six of the mystical power spheres. I do not know how they work as it was your hand that created them. I simply know they will allow you to lift the door that mankind created to imprison you in this tube of eternal darkness. Ugh, why am I burping so much? Son of a bitch. Should not have eaten goldfish before I did this. When you place each fear in the correct hole in the door, they shall combine with form of power. A force that will allow you to lift the door. Little effort and escape. 
You once told me if you were to be captured in this way, that you would need to sleep for two millennium and that you would then wake and walk the earth. Because, you know, everybody needs their fucking real sleep. So, and I'm a deity, so I must sleep for ages. Need that shit. I have provided all that you need to escape this place. My plan is to attack one of the guards at the door. It's closed and stands and is trying to dispose inside with you. I will see to it that everything is in place for you, Awakening, and I will gladly sacrifice my own life to do so. The mystical flames will alight of their own accord, as you once promised and provided with you enough something to allow you to move around and set yourself free. Okay. Someone tells me I'm gonna the plot twist. I'm always looking for a plot twist in the game. It's, it's, it's really it's something really I do that, it's a complete bullshit. Anyway, one thing I bet is um uh the guy this guy? You see there are three guys in here. I bet that guy is actually the deity and not everything's going to plan. Actually it's probably not. I'm just full of shit. Let's see. The floor. Yeah, let's see. Is there something I'm missing with the guide stones? I do feel like I'm missing something. Will be condo. Wait, a button? Oh no. Uh. Okay, let's see. There's three dials in the wall. You can turn them. No. Mankind locked you within the tomb. Mystical flames will light on their own accord as you once promised. But... Okay, let's see. I must be missing something. Is there anything in here? No. And here comes the looking around and pressing on everything until something fucking works. I mean, is now in front. The wall that was behind me is now in front of me? What? Oh, I think it's supposed to give you direction. Like, okay, this is what you're looking at. Even though the only way that would be confusing was in the last game. More sand. Uh, the closer the guide still. What else could I have missed here? What other bullshit could I? Oh, sorry. My oh my deep. Oh sh. Oh, I better stop for a moment. Okay, we're good again. Let us continue searching until we find what we're looking for. What the crap was going on there? Okay, some. Uh, something's going wrong here. Uh, you'll be right back again. Okay, I think I fixed it. Hopefully. Any, like, floorboards? Sand, wow, that's so creepy. What the fuck are you going for here? I'm looking for a loose floorboard or something. Extremely hot to the touch. Maybe I have to look someone at this door. I'll try giving the, I'll probably the sphere here. The spheres. Yeah, you want this? You want this? You can suck on them. My deity nuts. No, I don't want to put it back. Okay, this must be something here. It'll eventually work. I got this. I'm making it work. I've solved the puzzle. Uh, I see skulls on them and they're facing weird directions. Grid of buttons and all this. Not one here. What am I missing? Maybe if I go to the coffin. No, nope, it's just the skulls. I don't really see any specific order. It's kind of small to see, so... Most likely cut out this part. Or cut it off here. So that they don't have to sit through all this. Unless I find out what it is pretty soon.
Oh, 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 I think I found something. I was just randomly looking around and I got something. Ooh, oh, there it is. I got something. Oh, oh, that, that. Who is this? Uh, this one's top. I'm gonna guess it's. I, I, I can't really figure this out. Uh, all four corners and the four in the center. Give me it. Give me it. Give me my powers. Did I not press with him? Um, let's press. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't know that the buttons were going through such harsh times. I didn't realize that they were. Wait a minute. Correct combination numbers. Uh, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe. Let us see. What does this say? Uh, that wasn't supposed to be like a racist. Uh, just my fault. I do that, uh,. Impression. Oh, now I go. Well, let's check this first. Is it right? Nope. And let's see. I did it! I am the winner! I think I just beat it. And not within a. Any, and I did it within this millennium. Unlike the last games. I am not dissing the last games. I'm just saying the last games were pretty long. Let me. Motherfucker. Let me look at it. There we go. Give me the damn orb of pure, unstoppable, badass power. Yes. Push it. But it does nothing. Uh. Oh! Okay, that did something. Care to explain why they turn into light orbs and how that's my power? I don't care. Power. Power. Oh, wait, I have to wait till we get the sun. So soon to be power. Soon to be power. And. Yay! To the sunlight. Transit Umbria looks permanent. You have escaped, and what's with all the tombstones? Well done, you are free to walk the earth again. Bask under the sun, recharge your mystical powers, and inflict misery upon the human race, the likes of which has never been known before. Back to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Something. Escape Eternity. Sorry, I might probably. Not my pets, it's, uh, I should just shut up. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will not be recording as much in the future, which really sucks because if I don't record for a while, episodes like this where I can't talk straight for shit happen. But this was a very good game. Please go to um, uh, cyanogames.com, I think that's what it's called, um, and support the author. He's very talented and he's done a lot of games, but they should actually start getting better in the future because he's starting to use this program. I do not understand it, but I saw a comment on Facebook. Twitter from him that said uh, it is much better. Or maybe it was from side. I don't remember. Anyway, goodbye, foolish mortals.